guys, it's Full Cuts here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City, and I thought I'd do something a bit different today, not because I'm speculative or I'm perspective. I thought I would pop open a box of 2021-22 Hit Parade Hockey Limited Edition, the 22nd rendition. Hopefully we do not hit Jake Lesition. Uh, I only say that because he had two goals last year and he's a center and he played 41 games. Um, and you never know what you're gonna get in these boxes. I don't like the whole notion of gambling and hit and miss and people repackaging, which is just another reason for prices to go higher because there's another middleman. And interestingly, on this box, it says award winner for the Industry Summit Awards. Uh, except, very small, it says a Beckett company under there. So Beckett is in the business of making prices go higher, whether through grading or through listing book values and so on, is now awarding repackaged goods <laughs> awards, you know, so that people are more likely to buy them, even if you have to pay $150 for one card and you have a long checklist. Now, what I find interesting about this product, it says that there's 100 boxes, yet it says it's the series 22 on the side, so 22, times 100 so there you already have 2200 boxes now if the series goes up to 40 then you have 4000 boxes so it's just numbering gimmickry right so we have box 65 of 100 the other issue guys is they don't disclose the entire checklist they disclose 10 cards of the 100 cards so they say that there's a crosby matthews kane barkov makar stamkos nate uh, mika solani and uh, robert thomas okay good so there's 10 cards we know those high you know end cards but what we don't know is the other 90 cards. So it'd be one thing if the other cards would be pretty decent or middling cards, but if they're really terrible cards, that completely would change how we would approach our bidding on prices. I really don't like this stuff. I find it gimmickry, and I know I can hit a Crosby because there's a 1% chance of hitting a Crosby. If there's one Crosby on the checklist and there's 100 boxes, I have one opportunity of the 100 sets, 1% odds. Still, disclose the checklist. Disclose the entire checklist so we know what we're buying. The reason why they don't do that is we would not buy it at these price points. So this is a lack of transparency and then you have people in cahoots giving them awards, which is kind of self-serving, is it not? Anyway, so I just thought I'd go through that. I'm really having a hard time with all the flipping in the, if you go online now in the secondary market, people are flipping things for just ridiculous prices. People will just buy all the high-end cards and then repost them for $10,000 more. And then who's gonna buy it? People not in the hobby for the most part. It will be people who are just parking money because they have money from Wall Street or whatever. This hyperinflation is a real issue. And over the long term, I can tell you for a fact, over the long term, these prices will come down. Now, I'm not talking short term because, you know, hyperinflation can go on indefinitely, particularly in this, you know, market, broader market. But, you know, if someone's gonna sign cards, if Gretzky's gonna sign cards for another 30 years, or if McDavid's gonna sign cards for another 60 years, you can bet on it that's, that his autos will come down, okay? I just wanna be clear about that. And of course, everybody will still chase the McDavid auto, but they won't be chasing all these other helium players who might have one or two good years and then might sink into a sinkhole and play in a small market. So yes, you can prospect, you can be speculative in the short term, but I'm talking about long term because the next generation of collectors is not gonna care about this crop. They just aren't. Just like people no longer care about the Espositos and so on, which only are $100 cars, where my cars are $2,000 cars. Anyways, how to get that out of my system, I just wanted to sort of do that because I'm doing a little bit of an adrenaline junkie endorphin rush break today, which is not something I enjoy doing because it's the antithesis of why I have a channel. But I just want to explain that before you gamble. Yes, I might hit an Austin Matthews and power to me in this box, but I'm trying to explain to you not what I will get in my box, but what people get on average or what they should think about before these bu they buy these products, okay? So that's basically it, guys. I just had to get that out of my system because be be when I do these repackaged products, I want to be clear as to what I'm doing. I personally am not gambling. I'm educating people. Um, obviously, I do enjoy hitting great cards, but that's I'm not in it to speculate or to be a middleman myself or to buy these re refurbished products, okay? So let's do it, guys, and power to me, and hopefully I'll hit someone great and add it to my collection. Uh, if I don't, I'm telling you right now, it won't upset me one iota. All right, guys, and I've heard people tell me I'm, I'm hypocritical because of the way I approach things. I, they say I gamble, I'm a box breaker, so I gamble. <laughs> so I want to have a channel, man. I have a channel so that people are better informed, so when they go purchasing stuff, they can do it based on complete information. And the reason why I have musical beds and the proceeds of my videos go to those musicians, by the way, 
is just to re reinforce, underscore the sentimental uh, attachment to our hobby, which is why I'm really in the hobby, and I assume most people are. Uh, but people are getting killed now at these prices, and it's because of all the flipping and all this, this repackaged stuff. There we go, and I just got a decoy. And let's see if I can uh, hide this bad boy from you. Oh, okay. And it has this thing on the top, more advertisement. <laughs> that simple branding. You know, that's what they're doing mostly, just branding. So let's see what I have here, guys. I can use this thing as a decoy. Wasn't that heavy. Okay. As the cops are gonna bust me. All right, guys. Let's see what we have here. Uh, it's not graded, if you're expecting it to be graded. Uh, what is it, guys? Is it a Joe Thornton? It looks like it is auto, isn't it? Oh, that's very nice. I'm a huge Joe Thornton fan. I really am. That is a beautiful one. Very, very cool. Now, does it merit the price tag associated with it? I have no idea. Probably not, I don't know. But it is uh, the cup. And it's a number to 50 Joe Thornton Auto. Very beautiful card, straight to the collection for me, guys. Um, so, you know, it wasn't listed on the checklist, as mentioned, um, but it's definitely, I mean, what is he, number seven in assists all time? Yeah, and a first overall in 1997, I believe. I really, 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 really love Joe Thornton. So for me, it's a very nice card. Now, I assume these cards, like what's a Joe Thornton Auto, a $50 card? I have no idea, but it's really nice. It is really beautiful card, straight to the collection. So at least it's someone I really like genuinely love, as you guys know, because I talk about him quite a bit. And I knew right away his auto, it was his auto, just because, you know, I just know it so well. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> I mean, do you buy these products? I mean, 1% chance to hit your Austin Matthews or Crosby. I guess 2% when you combine those odds. So it's really up to you to think about whether this makes sense to you, but I don't know about it, guys. I'm just not a fan of this stuff. I'm happy to have done it and happy to have thought about it. So guys, I quickly looked up comps because that's the purpose of this particular video to sort of discern value. So before people call me hypocrites about talking about price points, but I want to talk a little bit about value and why I focus on sentimentality today. I think, so this is the cut from 2008, 2009. I can only imagine what those boxes go for now. I'm sure they're completely, um, there's no more left. But I think that this is a $25 card. So here you go, you'll buy these boxes. I don't know, people pay over 100, some people pay 150 for these boxes, and then you pull a $25 card. Now, this really underscores my point for, on two fronts. One, I love Joe Thornton, so I really enjoy this break because I have a huge attachment to Joe Thornton. But the other thing is that he is top seven in passers all time. He's basically Hall of Famer, one of the most cherished players, first overall 1997, yet, yet, his auto from the cup is only a $25 card. Now compare and contrast to all the people chasing current cards today. People from this generation associate him as a fourth liner, right? They associate him as a fourth liner, not as the best passer of all time. So what inherent value do, does a Joe Thornton auto have if he can sign for the rest of his life? And they can use numbering gimmicks like number to 50. Oh, there's only 50. Yeah, but if he has tens of thousands of autos, if he signs for 50 years, this number to 50 doesn't really mean anything, even if it's the cup and a thick card or whatever. So that's that's the point, guys. You have to really weigh these things. Uh, in the short term, of course, with new players, you can make money if you're speculative, but that's not why I do it. And I am always thinking about the long term and how players like this devalue over time, even though they are literally, he's number seven passing all time, uh, a total Pez dispenser. So. There you go, guys. I mean, so a little break about explaining value and so on and why I don't think these products are worth it, okay? Uh, although in this market, man, who the hell knows, okay? Middleman, a go-go. 
So that's basically it, guys. Uh, you know, an interesting box of this stuff, interesting, insightful box of this stuff. I have to say, I completely lucked out to Joe Thornton because he's definitely one of my top five favorite players who are non-habs or non-goalies, uh, 100%. So I got lucky on that front. And this is why I continue to underscore why sentimentality and really sort of being in a bunch of pools and just loving, you know, the NHL and all it has to offer really makes you enjoy the hobby more. That's basically it, guys. Please ring the bell, sub like hashtag Dryden. Uh, do me the favor of ring the bell. I have a new full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City.